So Black Lives Matter organization Global is under some scrutiny. Uh, uh, where's the money? By three lesbian women, Patrice Cullors, Alicia Garza, and Opal Tometi. So in 2020, uh, they received $90 million in donations. But particularly Patrice Cullors, she bought like four homes for $3 million. Show me the money! $90 that was donated. There's a lot of money missing, according to IRS. It's like, where did you spend it? And spend this money, and a lot of the initial organizers have million-dollar homes living in neighborhoods that don't have black people in it. And people are like, we donate all this money. What are you doing with it? People are like, question some stuff. So with that, Candace Owens, she's a Republic conservative who is like, why are you you're getting money off of the deaths of black people? What are you doing with this money? You're living in mansions. You have like four properties. You're just living the La Vida Loca life. So Candace Owens like, no, I'm going to investigate it. Where is this money? What are you doing with this money that millions of people donated to this cause? Because we, you know, Black Lives Matter. Of course it does. But the organization, are they robbing us? Are they just taking them our money? And so Candace was like, let's investigate. Like her or hate her. Hey, if the. IRS is investigating. We should too. So um, Candace Owens showed up at her property. He's like, chick, where's the money? And Patrice is like, she's harassing me. And this is what Patrice said. Hey, everybody. Hey. Hey. <laughs> it's good to see some of the team. Um, hey, folks. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, the right wing media and right-wing pundits are creating a cr incredibly and have created an incredibly dangerous environment for me. Um, this morning, I woke up to Candace Owens being outside of my house with a news crew. Um, she was demanding that I come outside um, and uh, when I looked at the video recording of what she was asking about, she was actually asking about the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation property. Uh, and for some reason, it seems like she thought my house was that. It's really unacceptable and dangerous when Candace Owens, another black woman who is actually working as a part of a right wing agenda, comes outside of my house with cameras. I've experienced, and many of us have experienced death threats. Um, many of us are ch have children. Uh, the fact that she's came outside my house and demanded things harassed me uh, is unacceptable. It is unacceptable. I'm not gonna let the right wing and right wing pundit pundits and media try to drive me against my community and have the community driven against me. I'm begging and pleading with all of you all to pay attention to what's happening to me and to many other people, many other leaders inside of this movement, pay attention to what's happening. Because what happened to me today has the potential to open up a floodgates, the floodgates of many other right-wing people that may next time be bearing arms, that may next time be more violent. This is unacceptable. Black people should be able to fight for our rights, for our right to live without being harassed, without being, um, fe without fearing for our lives, without having people, strangers show up to our private and personal property. Y'all, I really need my family to be safe. I need to be safe. I need my child to be safe. And this, this, what happened this morning is not safety. It's not what I deserve. It's not what any of us deserve. And you see shit that's being talked about. Please be diligent. Because they are purposefully doing this. They are purposefully building a wedge between black people 
because they know that when we are together, we're stronger and they've seen what we've done this last decade. They've seen what we've done. And so they're literally trying to destroy us. They're trying to destroy me. They're trying to destroy the movement. Pray for me, pray for my family and pray and check on black organizers because this backlash that we're seeing, the backlash is real and it's, it's impacting our personal and everyday lives, so. Okay, so this is, this is Patrice Culler's feelings about Candace Owens showing up at her home. Uh, Candace Owens, this video saying, no, she thought it was the, the official organization. I think it was her home. She went up and said, I want to talk to somebody. So Patrice is like, she's feeling harassed. This Candace Owens, from her point of view, is saying so. Okay, so this is insane. In real time right now, I am watching uh, Patrice Colors do a live claiming that I went to her property and demanded to speak to her. Um, and she's, I, I, I only I can describe it, she sounds like she's really scared. Um, we're working on a documentary talking about all the funding pertaining to Black Lives Matter. Obviously, we know that Patrice and a lot of the founders purchased million dollars ho million dollar homes in white neighborhoods. Uh, they also purchased a Black Lives Matter property. So we went to the property and asked if there was anyone that we could speak to. Very politely, by the way. We've got cameras in tow. So there's no way she can lie. It's all on camera. And we just said, is there anyone we can speak to? Nobody asked us to leave. Um, the person went inside. It was just a white man that we saw outside that was providing security, which is super interesting because obviously... Patrice here is anti-police and so she's oh my god I think she's crying on this live pretending that she was harassed we like I said very politely to the guys I know we can speak to um, my name's Candace Owens we never went over the gate it was just me ringing the doorbell trying to speak to someone he said absolutely nothing he started just recording us and we said okay if there's no one we can speak to we're gonna leave um Patrice is pretending to be scared because she knows that this black lives matter lie is falling apart um and she doesn't know what to do i mean people are aware of the scam that is black lives matter she's intentionally limited the comments so you can't even comment on this post because i was going to comment and be like this is a complete lie and we have it all on camera in terms of what happened so what you are seeing right now is the face of a woman who is pretending she's afraid of right-wing pundits when in reality she's being exposed as a fraud who took millions used the faces of black people took millions of dollars to fund herself to fund her lifestyle to fund her girlfriend and to buy million dollar mansions in neighborhoods where no black people live so patrice tears or crocodile tears about someone politely ringing your gate and speaking to your white security guard and, and asking if there was anyone that i could talk to because i was covering the story um not really going to cut it patrice this is only going to commit me further to discovering the truth about what you have done with this funding black people died you used their faces to raise money you demanded that the policing be stopped you demanded that police officers be defunded but you've got a private security detail um outside of million dollar homes it just doesn't work this way sweetheart so um the truth so set you okay so that's candace talking about what she did she's like i'm not harassing this woman i didn't it's a gated community i just went to the front door where the security is and i rang the bell can someone talk to me and someone came out and started recording her and she's like i wasn't harassing this woman i just want to talk about where those millions of dollars went so what do you guys think who, who who are you supporting candace or patrice is patrice being harassed She's telling us to stand together because this is what they do to divide us. But she she stopped the do donations on the website because the IRS is like, where's all this money that you got? But you have million dollar homes. Can we ask these questions? Are we mad at Candace for coming to a black woman? And what are your thoughts? Um. I'm not going to put mine in it. I'm just, I just find it interesting. It's just something to pay attention to because we don't want anyone like taking our money and not doing with it that they said they're going to do. 
Maybe she did, but maybe she can explain, you know. We still support, you know, we hate, you know, police brutality. Black lives do matter, you know. But the organization and the people running it, um, they are admittedly Marxist. And they said they're against, not against the nuclear family, but they like, oh, we need to be a communal family. Trans people, women, they never mention men. Black men, they said black women. So, three lesbians, whatever. What is your thoughts? What are your thoughts? And I will respond in the comments like I always do.